we're going to need everybody out there to weigh in on this conversation today, man, because we got a, 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 a couple of wrestling um, newsworthy um, stories that, that came in that, that I really, really want to talk about and I want to weigh in on. Because I feel like I'm the uh, aficionado uh, as far as it comes to when it's uh, something to do about wrestling. Because, I, you know, I speak it like I preach it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to tell it like it is, no matter what. That's just the way I am. Um, and a couple of stories, like I say, came across the, um, the ticker. Um, Bubba Ray. Um, Bubba Ray um, was talking about um, AEW. Um, you know, pretty much versus NXT, the Wednesday Night Wars, and how he thinks AEW is, you know, um, missing a boat, um, maybe, uh, you know, missing, you know, certain moments, um, certain, maybe the wrestling is not, you know, up to par, you know, compared to, you know, NXT. And, and I, w- I want to talk about this. Um, and um, I got the perfect person with, with, with yourself, Brad. Um, but like I say, um, people out there that's um, listening to the show, let us know what you're thinking um, as far as um, th- this topic goes. Um, but as far as AEW, NXT, what do you think, Brad? Do you think NXT is doing something better? Than AEW because AEW numbers have been consistently better than NXT, but Bubba Ray thinks the opposite. What do you think? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, Bully's comments were interesting that he made over there on Busted Open. Uh, I, I think that he he makes a good point though. I think from a um, he called their wrestling, he called AEW's wrestling indie rific. I think was the word that he used or the term that he used. And I think to some degree, there's there's truth to that. And and here's why: when you start. Uh, a new major league wrestling company uh, as AEW has now for what the last year, where are you going to go to get the majority of your talent? You're going to go to the independent circuit. Well, the the guys are in the, on the independent circuit because they haven't been signed yet by a major company like a WWE or what have you. And they still, they, they're still going to take over those traits, all the tools, like you say, they're taking the tools from their toolbox that they've been using in the independent world. And now they're putting them on national television. So my, one of my big complaints of AEW has been from an in-ring psychology standpoint, sometimes it's it's not there, right? Unless one of these guys like a Cody Rhodes is in the ring or a Jericho or um, some of those guys, right? They have that, that psychology that I've grown accustomed to. Not everybody over there has it. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, I think AEW, from a presentation standpoint, from a old-school wrestling feel, like you got to watch it live, I think they're killing NXT in that regard. I do think NXT wrestling-wise... I think that they have the better roster of wrestlers, of guys who can go bell to bell, tell the story cohesively, beginning, middle, end, shine, hope, comeback, whatever, right? They have that, um, to me, at NXT. AEW sometimes leaves it a little bit to be desired, in my opinion. Well, you know, um, one can look at this in so many different ways. Um, The way I look at it is, you know, NXT, of course, they, these guys, they go out and they wrestle. Um, they go out and they do the best they possibly can at, you know, trying to, you know, bring the realism into, you know, the performance. But wrestling is so many different things. Wrestling is just, like I say, it's not MMA. It, it's not mm-hmm. boxing. You know what I mean? It, it's not that that form of context. What professional wrestling has always been, you know, entertainment based. And one thing that you could rest assured on is in AEW, Every match is not going to look the same because those guys are, you know, uh, a fluctuation of indie guys and more experienced guys. Yeah. More experienced guys like Moxley going to look a to- totally different than uh, some of the other guys. So um, is, I, 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 I go back to um, uh, TNA, you know, in the six sided ring it, when 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 in wrestling is what I always say is to be able to do the same thing everyone else is doing a little bit different. The six sided ring was something different. That's what attracted you to, to the impact, uh, you know, uh, TNA wrestling back in the day. Plus the young guys, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, those guys brought something to the table. Um, AEW, they're doing the same thing that everyone else is doing, but they're trying to make it look a little bit different. And I yeah. think, you know, uh, with the uh, nucleus of, uh, of wrestling that we have right now, that's that's very very important to 
what you're trying to create and what you're trying to build. I always said if TNA would have stuck to the six side of the ring and gave those young guys the ball and let them run and they had some good guys in the, the, uh, the, the production room writing, um, you know, the show for these guys, these guys could have went out. I mean, TNA could be huge right now. You remember how, how, how popular TNA wrestling was on Spike yeah. TV. Yeah. Back then they were doing one threes, one fours, mm-hmm. um, one fives. So the thing is, I, you know, I agree with Bubba Ray in a lot of uh, aspects, but in this business, you got to be able to figure out how to do the same thing. Everyone else is doing. A little bit different and i think that's what aew is doing well i think you make a good point about the difference of it now from a presentation standpoint i think i 1000 percent agree with you when it comes to aew you know when you watch a quentin tarantino movie it has a feel like as soon as the opening scene happens you're like oh this is a tarantino it's got the vibe around it aw has got that as soon as it turns on it has its own feel to it which i think is really important wwe at times can feel a little rehearsed and produced a little too pretty AEW is a little grittier, which gives it that different vibe, right? When you turn that channel, you're like, "Oh, that's not WWE. That doesn't look that doesn't look the same, right?" And it, it, uh, to your point about the AD, about uh, TNA and the six sided ring, I do think though with Bubba's, I think his main criticism was the some of the talent maybe on the on the lower end of the card, the the opening matches or mid, mid lower card, they don't have as many reps as the guys at the top, which leads to this discrepancy. Okay, okay, inside okay. The ring. Can, can, I, can I retort um, to that right there? You may, it's your show. Um, <laughs> can you go back and think about how crappy those wrestlers were in, in ECW and how popular? Uh, wait a minute. I, I agree popular, with you, though. And how popular that show was. Those guys wasn't the greatest wrestlers in the world. I mean, come on. And they, they put on a great, great show. And, and that's my point right there, why I totally disagree with someone like Bubba, Bubba Ray coming from a place like ECW where I thought Mike Awesome could actually work until I got in the ring with him. Okay? And I go, wait a minute. This guy can't work. You know what I mean? But Paul Heyman made those guys look like they knew what they were doing. Agreed. I do agree with you on that too. I think that I think that we're actually arguing the same side here a little bit. But in regards to the ECW of it all, Paul Heyman made it work because every single guy who was on the ECW roster, they felt special. They felt like a big deal. They felt like a star. And they knew how to go out there and entertain. I don't remember one spot the Sandman ever did, but I remember his entrance, right? Yeah, I yeah. remember the pageantry of AEW, I mean of ECW. And I think that just for some of the lower tier guys in AEW, that's not all the way there for you, but they've only been a company for 12 months. They've done a really great job in these 12 months of building an audience, building a roster, keeping the attention of their audience, almost getting to that million viewers a week, getting guys in there like Sting, Jericho, Moxley, the ones that you've named. Great job. Bring that other talent up, and then they're, they're going to be they're gonna be a problem. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I just wanted to throw that out there um, as far as, um, you know, I see a lot of people agreeing with me. As far as um, you know, my take on this, uh, and, and the thing is, uh, I'm just I'm just talking, you know, logistics. Um, as far as you know, just say, for instance, what I do with reality of wrestling. Um, there again, you know, doing the same thing everyone else is doing from an independent standpoint, We're trying to do it um, a little bit different than everyone else is doing. Um, you know, like reality of wrestling, we don't bring in you know, X, you know, WCW guys, we don't bring in old WWE guys, TNA guys or anything like that to fuel our ship. We got the youngest, you know, um, roster in professional wrestling at, at reality of wrestling. And that's, that's all by design. Um, uh, we have the youngest, you know, um, referees, um, that's by design. We have the you know, uh, youngest announcers, uh, that's, that's by design, uh, other than myself, <laughs> commentators, uh, um, uh, but but all of that is by design to get people to look at reality of wrestling a little bit different than they watch any other independent wrestling show. The young person that's watching it and see our champion, he's yet 20 years old or, or see our female champion, you know, at 18 years old. They say, man, I, I can do that. Man, that could be me right there. It, like I say, it's, it's hard to aspire to be the 16 time world champion, Ric Flair, but to be, you know, uh, there again, AQA, uh, you could say, man, I could do that. So they're again to do the same thing that everyone else is doing a little bit different. is very important. Guys, stick around. We got to take a break. What am I thinking? We'll be back in a minute. 